Okay, this is the Cobra BioCell Pro driver review. Um, fortunate enough to test it last week and thought I'd give you guys a little bit of um, data and my views on it um, and see how it stood up to everything else that's out on the market. Um, anyway, if you have watched my previous reviews, certainly on the Cobra ones, um, you'd know that I'm actually quite a big fan. Um, not of the looks, but certainly of the performance. And um, when Cobra have launch this one which is better looking than the other two um, in my eyes um, I was interested to really see whether this was gonna really perform well enough to make the difference um, and I can quite honestly say it does I think this could be in my testing the best driver I've hit um, it looks good and, and certainly on off center hits it was very accurate um, and um, distance wise it's the longest on average I've had um, only by a fraction but it's certainly longer and I can certainly start to pump um, shots a little bit further than I normally do I'm getting quite a good club speed I should also put ball speed up there really um, I can look at smash factor but I'm not too worried about club head speed for me it's about all about ball speed if I can increase my ball speed without having to give it a run and jump um, that in my eyes is a is a, is a good place to be um, funny enough the driver that I tested was a 44 and a half inch um, shaft with the Oz uh, the matrix red tie um, so much more to, to my liking in terms of length whether that has an influence on my testing who, who knows but it's certainly long enough um, my longest yardage out there was two six Five, carry 267 um, totaling around 290 um, ball speed of 160 I'm over the moon with that anything even close to 160 for me is good um, and the accuracy as a whole was very very nice um, let's just have a quick look in all of that yeah I mean it's, it's very consistent smash factor even on some dodgy strikes 147 147 147 launching it very very consistently um, I can't remember what I had this set on nine and a half um, which would be about my loft nowadays um, ball speed dropped as low as 155 154 and as high as 160 averaging 157 which as I say 12 shots no issue with that whatsoever um, spin rate averaging 22 couple dropped below 2000 but I'm comfortable around the 2000 mark, 2223, um, and my longest ball at 160 ball speed, the longest carry was spinning at 25, which I think is, is more than enough for me. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to actually try on the same day um, the Biocell Plus, um, and it, it's averaging about two miles an hour less ball speed, slightly higher spinning, um, and averaging five six yards what no eight yards sorry um shorter in carry so cobra's corporate blurb is not made up it's certainly a better driver um for me i think it's a wonderful driver i think it's good looking and as i said in my last review i think the um the whole biocell biocell plus driver range are completely underrated and don't get enough publicity and i highly recommend that anyone who's in the market for it an elite to um, tour level driver put this in your hands try it see what you think don't be put off that it's not Titleist, that it's not tailor made that it's not callaway put it in your hands it's better than you think and i would be very surprised if you find anything out there um, that is actually longer um, Will it make me change my mind from my alpha? Probably not. Um, but I really, really like this driver and it's definitely one to watch. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, feel free to drop me an email, tom at motleygolf.co.uk and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.